What's up guys, Rekitech here and today I'm going to be bringing you once again another video and this video today is a review and it's the review of the USB 3.0 7 port hub with two additional charging ports from TP-Link. You saw the, uh, the unboxing of this the other day, I'll put a link to that down below if you want to check that out but this is the full review of it and I'm going to give you my thoughts on the device so let's get straight to it. So this device features seven USB 3.0 ports on the front, which offer transfer speeds of up to five gigabits per second, which is 10 times faster than standard USB 2.0. And most devices these days, the newer models, not so much the older models, but they do support um, USB 3.0. So just stick that in the 3.0 and you're off with the 3.0 speeds. If you connect it to 2.0 then you will be getting 2.0 speeds but you can still use it as an extension hub to connect all of your seven devices to. The seven data transfer ports mean you do not have to switch between devices. You can have all of your devices connected at the same time, so you don't have to keep unplugging them, putting them in somewhere else, taking them out. You know, all of that, you're probably used to that, but now thanks to this device, you don't need to do that. This particular model of hub from TP-Link does also feature two exclusive charging ports on the side of it, which intelligently recognize and optimally charge the attached iOS or Android devices. You have to connect the product to the mains for this to work though um, as this is powered by the mains and they do provide you with all of that in the packaging so you don't need to worry about providing external power. It does not require any drivers to install meaning you can just plug it in and off you go. There's no additional setup required, you just simply plug in the USB, plug in the power, stick it in your desktop or laptop or whatever you want to use this on and it will immediately work. Just press on the power button and away you go. This device is supported on all main operating systems which do include Windows, Mac OS X and Linux based operating systems. If I've missed any, then they will probably work on there too, but these are the main operating systems that this device is mainly used on. The top of the device is a glossy black cover, which does make it look more presentable, uh, however it does leave fingerprints um, when you touch it because you have to hold on to the device before you plug in USB, otherwise the device moves and it's not easily getting in. So you have to hold on to it and when you do that it does leave fingerprints all over the top but you can just simply wipe these off, that's not a problem and again you'll have your nice stylish look again. The device does also have rubber feet so it doesn't move however you need to hold on to the device once again when you're connecting other devices to it otherwise it will move. This is really quite small and looks nice on your desk, it, just, it blends in with pretty much everything you have on your desk, it's not going to look out of place. It's only 16 and a half centimetres in length and it's only 1.7 centimetres in thickness. This is the standard thickness of roughly what you know, a USB port in height, uh, so they've tried to keep it as thin as possible really just to keep up that look, to keep it presentable and keep it stylish looking on your desk. I haven't had any issues with this device and it works exactly as it should and transfers files as fast as um, transfer speeds would just as if you're connecting your external hard drive directly to a USB port on your desktop or laptop. Thanks to this USB port hub you can just transfer pretty much at the same speeds as you would when doing that so TP-Link have really nailed it here. This device starts off at around 35 to 40 pounds, depending on where you get the product from. So for what it does, it is very good value for money. If you do want to check it out, I'll leave the link to it in the description below so you can go on and purchase it immediately. But this is it for this review. Um, it's a nice it's a nice product, it does what it says it does, but because again, it's, it's a basic product and it only does really one thing, I can't really talk about it much, so that is it for this review. I want to say a big thank you to TP-Link for sending me this device, so thank you very much guys for sending me that, and I really hope you guys out there enjoyed watching this review. If you did, leave the thumbs up, you know, as always, and then comment below why you liked it, comment anything else down below, I'll try and help you out if your question is um, related to this, or you know, if it, even if it isn't, just leave a comment below and I will try and help you out. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe for more content, check out my Twitter and Instagram, all the links to them are in the description below and I will catch you in the next one.